What is insulin resistance anyway? Well, under normal circumstances, your insulin levels will rise to control the sugars that you just ate in the form of carbs. So insulin's all about energy. So it's stimulating the muscles, tissues, cells in your body to uptake that glucose as energy in your system now. Now, once that sugar gets used for energy, those sugar levels drop and eventually the insulin levels will drop. Now, normally those blood sugar levels and insulin levels rise together and fall together, resulting in normal blood sugars on your blood test. So the tricky thing is insulin can take up to eight hours to come back down in your body. It could take longer than that if you've eaten high carb meals. This can create a situation where your blood sugars are showing up normal on your blood test, but your insulin levels are high. And because your doctor's not testing for that, you may never know. So at the root of it is a pancreas that's being taxed by creating higher levels of insulin in response to all the carbohydrates that we're eating. Why does the pancreas do this? Because it's trying to signal your body to use up all that glucose. And when you don't because your cells are resistant, it just says, okay, I'm going to create more insulin. Maybe you'll listen then. Too much insulin can cause a number of things like inflammation in your body. And it also causes you to gain weight because it's storing that energy as future energy in your fat cells. So all of those high levels of insulin for long periods of time can lead to diabetes, but it's also linked to a number of other disorders. Just a few of those things could be things like hypertension and the resulting cardiovascular diseases, hyperlipidemia, Hashimoto's and thyroid diseases, IBS, Crohn's, leaky gut, but there's also things like neurological disorders, autism, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's have all been linked to insulin resistance. What's even more amazing is the number of disorders and diseases that are being misdiagnosed or undiagnosed that simply lead back to insulin resistance. It's time to start taking care of that. There's a couple of videos pinned in my profile. One talks about how you can start to address this thing called insulin resistance on your own. And the other is simply the system that I use to make it more sustainable and get my own health back.